So I'm probably, you guys are probably wondering, for all you guys that have been watching my videos for a while, where is my stop motion series, Sonic and the Secret of the Chaos Emeralds? Well, um, I have some bad news about that series. Cancelled. Uh, but if you're still here and you guys are, you guys are still upset that I cancelled the series, I have a new series idea coming up soon. It's going to be kind of similar to Sonic and the Secret of the Chaos Emeralds, but it, there's going to be one major difference. It is a 2D animated series that's going to be a Sonic the Hedgehog reboot as well as some Sonic the Hedgehog redesigns that I have that I have whipped up, which I will show later on in the video. Uh, I'm actually pretty new at animation, so if the animation looks, uh, well, rough, let's just say that. Uh, well, then just keep that in mind. I'm kind of new at animation. You guys, I'm sure you guys did see my uh, nice brain idiot. Where did you get it? Brainstore video that I did. But yeah, that was basically like my first attempt at animation, and it was all right, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be but, like I have the voice cast ready. Um, I will go into more updates and more videos soon. Uh, and yeah, the first episode will be coming out soon. And well, I don't know when. Probably expect like summer 2024. Or so. Yeah, without further ado, let's show off the designs. Okay, so here are the designs. I'm not showing all of them for spoiler reasons for the show, so let's get started. So starting off with our main boy here, the blue blur himself, Sonic the Hedgehog. I actually really like how this guy turned out. I I, I gave him some soap shoe style shoes, and I also gave him a Sonic Boom-like scarf, as well as a very dark shade of blue. Uh, I really like how, how Sonic's design turned out a lot. I even, I also gave him some little biker gloves that I think look really good. And the scarf, I or not the scarf, the scar. There we go. Is really good. Like I really like how how the scar looks. I'm actually surprised we haven't had a Sonic design that has a scar. Like, but I like how it turned out. Next up, we got Tails here, who honestly who might still be in beta because I honestly didn't really know what to do with Tails. So he's got a belt similar to Sonic Boom. Uh, he's also got, again, some goggles like Sonic Boom. Some new shoes. Uh, laces are going to be kind of a trend with these characters. Uh, I think, he, again, Tails looks really good, but again, he might still be in beta, so expect, like, a, expect Tails to look a little bit different when uh, the show drops. Next up, we got our main villain, Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Um, who's going to be taking a lot of inspiration from uh, the 90s cartoon Sonic Sad I Am. Which, again, like, which uh, he has a robotic arm, just like that show head with Eggman. Um, and he's got a jacket that's basically just a combined version of modern and classic Eggman. And this, re I feel like this design just really screams evil genius. Huh? really lives up to Eggman's theme song. Okay, for the last three, um, these are all going to be live pictures because I had, a, I had a paper and pencil with me, so I just thought, man, let's just whip up some designs. I'm actually really glad with how this turned out. Knuckles the Echidna looks amazing, in my opinion at least. Again with Tails, I didn't really know what to do with Knuckles at first, but as I kept designing, I started to come up with more ideas. So yeah, I think it looks really good. And again, another thing you can kind of see a trend with is with Knuckles is that he has a scar on his face. Uh, I'm just gonna say this now, there are two more characters on this list that have scars on their faces, but uh, I'm not gonna say who yet. He's got a jacket just like his Treasure Hunter Knuckles outfit from Sonic Forces Speed Battle. A Master Emerald Shard necklace, which is, this is a, this is a reference, okay? Uh, from, from the race suit knuckle skins from Sonic's, from Sonic Speed Simulator. One of my personal favorite Sonic spin-offs, honestly. Some shoes inspired by the Sonic movie, and of course, I had to give him his cowboy hat. I mean, come on, huh? like I feel like that's I feel like the hat I feel like is starting to become a staple with Sonic spinoffs. Every time they have to have a, like a knuckles, have, have to have a knuckles, he has to have like some sort of hat like that's similar to that's either just the exact cowboy hat or just 
or just like a completely different hat in general. <coughs> Sonic Prime. So, yeah. Now for the last two characters, Mighty and Ray. Let's start, let's start off with Mighty here. Uh, obviously, you can tell uh, he looks kind of different. <laughs> Uh, he was definitely inspired by one of my, my favorite Ninja Turtle of all time, Raphael, which if you guys have watched my TMNT ranking short, which apparently not a lot of you guys did, <laughs> uh, you guys would know Raphael is my favorite turtle, so of course he's going to be taking some inspiration from him. As you can see, he's missing a tooth like Mutant Mayhem Raphael, the, the exact mask he wears like Raphael, his eyes his eyes are pupil-less, uh, mighty... Uh, let's see, Mighty's also got a scarf again, inspired by Sonic Boom. Uh, his shoes are, well, I don't really, I didn't really take a lot of inspiration from, from, from Mighty's shoes, but I can kind of see some similarities, similarities now. Uh, he's got Werehog kind of shoes, he's got, like, uh, Knuckles slash Sonic slash Ray kind of shoes, almost. Uh, his gloves are basically just his Archie Comics gloves, which I gotta say, Amazing design, by the way. Nice design. I like that mighty, de mighty design. Uh, he's got a couple scars on his chest there and on his face. He's got a few cracks in his shell, which again, inspired by Raphael. Okay. <laughs> and now finally, let's move on to Ray the Flying Squirrel, which uh, I'm not gonna get into, cl into any uh, castings in here, but I'm just gonna say this: he is gonna be voiced by my friend. My personal friend, uh, Owen the Crazy Man, go check out his YouTube channel. Again, he's got a scar on his face, a bandage on his tail like Sonic Boom, uh, goggles on his head, again, like Archie Comics, socks like Movie Knuckles, bandages on his hands like Sonic Boom, and some Tails kind of gloves. Uh, speaking of Tails, his ears are kind of similar to Tails. Uh, he's got a bandage on his ears, you can see there. Uh, what else? He's got some laces on his shoes, like basically almost every other character that I've mentioned. You can also see there, uh, the, he has a fang there, which is um, a reference to like an actual squirrel. This is, I feel like this is just going to be the only kind of like real life animalistic reference here. But you can also see it as like a fang the hunter reference. But yeah, you can see he's lost a little bit of his ear there because um, it'll be explained in the show why Mighty and Ray have these have these injuries in the way they are. Oh, he's got a Ninja Turtles inspired strap there by his scarf. One thing, I honestly don't know why they do this. It looks so out of place, in my opinion, is that they give Ray for his muzzle and stomach this brown color, which looks weird, honestly. So I'm just changing it to a normal, to a normal Sonic, Sonic uh, colored uh, muzzle and stomach there. It's also going to be slightly orange. I know these guys don't have colors, but still. Uh, his shoes have laces as well as his Sonic Mania his Sonic Mania shoes, but I've switched the white color out with black instead. Uh, and that's it for his design, really. Yeah, that's basically it for all the designs, actually. Um, and I really hope you guys check out Sonic, Sonic Respinned when it comes out. Yes, that's the series title. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Gotta go fast! Hold up, we're not done. I'm sorry, but me while editing this, just realized... How did it take me this long just to realize I didn't put the title of the series? Ugh, either way, here's the logo. Yeah, peace out. <laughs>